<laughs> uh, this is Cody said, Josh is so over the top. I'm more reserved. Oh, Josh isn't even the gay one. I've written homophobe, so maybe I'm... Why is he acting like a massive queen then, crying oh. about his being away from his family? <laughs> Gaz is gay, just to point, just to point out. <laughs> He's acting like a complete woofter, I think. <laughs> Thanks, did you say woofter? <laughs> <laughs> say what I want. No, you will not. It's my people. <laughs> <laughs> not on this podcast. <laughs> okay, yeah. And then, what else? Is this next where Julie came on? Oh, no. On the screen? I've put Ellen... E- Oh fuck! You're Ellen, fucking me Elena, up with that. Elena. Elena, it is. Is it? Yeah, Elena. I've said looks hot. She's wearing like a leopard print top, and she had little black hot pants and on. A denim jacket. I yeah, think. she looked really. That's what good. I mean. She's a bit edgy in her yeah, style. Yeah, she looked really good. I she looks like an Aussie for some reason to me. She gives yeah, me Aussie she, vibes. But she, she, oh, it's a bit rich coming from me. But she wears too much makeup. Like she cakes it on, and she's actually be not pretty without it, but just right. pretty with a little bit there. Oh, look so out for that. A little bit masky. I know. Yeah, but I don't put, like, a base on like that. Like, I just wear bright lipstick or whatever. Right. So you're giving me side eye. No, I'm just... (laughs) I just didn't know... It didn't occur to me she might wear too much makeup. You know when people just wear... Look like they're wearing a mask when they've got makeup on. Well, like like Isabel from our big girl. Yeah, basically, yeah. (laughs) (laughs) So, yeah, then Julie talked to the house. Did you put what she said? No, she came on and went... She told them it's a summer of temptation and tonight you'll be tempted with money, safety and power. Yes. So they went into that garden of temptation. <laughs> it looked amazing. It did look good. I yeah. was like, they have put so much effort into that. And That's they... what's good about BBUS. They, the competitions are really, really good. Well, they could have done something more with the diary rooms that have put a few stencils <laughs> on the wall if they're going to do that for the task. <laughs> it's true. They, the tasks are the best on BBUS. So the premise of this task mm. was now, <laughs> the, the prize fund, Julie keeps telling us, is a. A half, a, a, a half million dollars. <laughs> Why don't they just say half a million? Uh, they say things funny, don't they? <laughs> it's like quarter after two and shit like no, that. No, they don't say that. Yeah. They, yeah. <laughs> That's mad. Um, so it's half a million dollars is the prize fund. But this task was going to... If someone took this temptation, they're going to take $25,000 from the prize fund. They don't normally do that shit on BBUS. Taking money out of the prize fund. Taking a leaf out of BBUK's book there. Um, and there's a button involved as well. Mm. Always a button to get your prize fund stealing on on the go. I like those little shells they were in. It was fun, wasn't it? And like little nuts, <laughs> yeah. weren't it? Yeah. Um, so basically, they're all hoiked up in the air inside mm. these little nut shells. <laughs> and there's a flower on the floor, which is, looks like a lotus or something. And when, it, <laughs> and when it lights up, the first person to press their button mm. and light up their bulb inside their little nut <laughs> wins twenty five thousand pounds. I mean dollars off the prize fund, mm-hmm. but that taker will remain anonymous. That's good. So there's no real jeopardy here. No, like, no one's going to know. You might as well just do no, it. No, but something gets unleashed on the house. But some, yeah, it would unleash the first so twist th- of the season. So let's just ruminate on this. Yeah. If no one had pressed that button, nothing would have happened. Paul, Paul, wouldn't, have, Paul wouldn't have come in, <laughs> right? Bit, no, he wouldn't no, have come he just in. just sent, sent back home. Yeah, he'd have gone home. Yeah. There'd have been no <laughs> friendship bracelets, there'd have been no nominations yeah. or anyone on the block okay. and nobody would have gone home. Okay, yeah, just check him. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, if they treat us like idiots. <laughs> the thing is, you know that out of a group of, how many people did they put in there? We've gone through them all 16. already. 16 I, I people. Like we've not, we feel missed like, out a batch. I feel like we've missed them out, but we haven't. That was quick. Out of a group of that many people, someone's going to fucking press it on. Yeah, they? of course. Of course. They know some of these people are poor. <laughs> <laughs> um, so Kevin pressed first. Did Kevin. you see the, the way they put the dots on the screen? Did you see that? What dots? They put dots on the screen for who pressed. They put No. A, yeah. You don't pay attention. Uh, sure, they want the, just their light bulbs and in, in, inside the nut. No, he had a green bulb. Yeah, they put. But he they, got it. Yeah, but they showed you the ones who also pressed it. I didn't notice that yes, at all. They did because I rewound it. That's funny. Yeah, it's so a they, very subtle like yeah. labeling. I know. It's Blink and you miss it. His was green, and the others were all red. So the other people who pressed it but didn't. That's their light bulb successful. inside the nut. Yeah, but it was. You could see which ones had actually pressed it and which ones hadn't. Because the other ones didn't have any light on because they'd not pressed it. Yeah, I know. Because right. they hadn't switched their light on yeah. and their button. I'm saying you could see who... <laughs> Stop <laughs> arguing with me. That's, that's literally the core of this task. If the light bulb comes on, <laughs> you win it or you don't. And here's a green light bulb. It was I'm a real saying... thing. <laughs> <laughs> 
What are you going to say about my armpits? I'm seeing if you, are you shaving your armpits. I might have trimmed that hair down oh, today. Jesus Christ. There's still hair there, though. Not low turn. Still. <laughs> um, you want to see a big bush there, do you? <laughs> yeah, because you're a man. Sorry, I'm, not, <laughs> I'm not sleeping with you. <laughs> yeah, that was a little light bulb coming on. Oh, whatever. Okay, I'm saying it was interesting that you could see who else had pushed it. Oh, because theirs went red. Yeah, yeah, but I didn't make a note of who it was because I thought that's too much. No, and it happened real quick. <laughs> yeah. That's, that would be interesting to know who did it, actually. Mm. If you know who you push <laughs> actually, I don't care. Um, so, um, so there was so, two consequences unleashed, one personal and one for the entire house. Uh, so yeah, I what, forgot about that personal yeah, one. Yeah, so Kev- Kevin was not allowed to win the next HOH competition. He had to throw it. I thought, but, shut the fuck up! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, my neighbours' neighbor's children. children are enjoying themselves. <laughs> um, <laughs> Yeah, I thought that was quite good that he had to throw it. I quite like that as a thing. But it transpired that he didn't have to do anything in the end. So did he get away with that then? Cause yeah, he got away with it. But did he actually do anything to throw it? Or no, his team no, just... No, because oh, he, his was he team ended team? that task early, uh, okay, which yeah. we'll come to. Okay. But um, yeah, he, that was easy money for him. But he did decide to try and take off his tie and unbutton his yeah, shirt... what was that about? ...so that he looked hot and bothered and like the... <laughs> The heat was getting to him. Now, I noticed that literally everyone in that task was soaked through with sweat. Really? Why? They must have been boiling in there. I don't oh, know. Wow. I, I presume they do that in a studio it's just hot with, a, no. with a cover over it. No, it's not in the studio. It's in the garden. They're just in LA and it's really hot there. But that's not the real garden. They yeah, must, They must have an arena. That's the garden. You tell me they put all that shit out and then put it all away. Yeah. And then put it back out the next yep. day for another task. Yes. Who's been watching this fucking program? That's There's the garden. There's no way they do that. They do because they lock them inside for hours and hours and hours on end when it happens. Have you seen all those flowers they put out there? Yes, I'm telling you, that's the garden. I don't think it is. Uh, okay, tweet me <laughs> at light at VM or tweet Gaz BB underscore Superfan. I've been watching this shit for the past twenty years or whatever. He comes in telling me I don't know. It's the garden. You'll see it every time. It's the garden. I believe. Arena. That there what must arena? Be an arena? Arena next where? Door. An arena of what? They had it's it the in garden. Big Brother Australia. Like we got the house next door for tasks. That's what they do these days. It's the normal garden. This could be they your lo- new Jerry Ford in the pool. <laughs> 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 look, it's not. Shut up. Hey John. It's not. They lock them in, they lock them in the house for hours and hours on end and the housemates all complain that they can't go out while they do it. And it takes them hours and hours. The second task that happened when they were on ropes looked just the same as this one though. Yeah. What do you mean? Just it was in the garden environment. Yeah, in the garden. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it is in the garden. What's it anyway. called again? The Garden of Temptation. Stop arguing. Um, yeah, go on. Um, one thing. No, actually, we'll come back to that. Um, yeah, he was making out like he'd look sweaty for some reason, but they were all sweaty anyway. Mm-hmm. Um, so because he'd done that, mm-hmm. this thing that was unleashed was that Paul came back in. Hold on! Wait! 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 What? Before that happened, just they were all getting suspicious of, suspicious of each other, wondering who'd pushed the button. Not that suspicious, though, were they? No, no but really that, I thought, oh, it might cause a bit of controversy, but it wasn't yeah. as bad as I thought. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> so in walks Paul, who now, is a you... hipster-type looking guy with a nice beard. <laughs> Apparently, Shush. he came second last year. Now, I've never seen him before. <laughs> really? Never seen him before? <laughs> I have seen... I've, people knew he was going back in. I've Did seen, they? I've seen his picture flying around on Twitter, but I haven't been reading it. I've just been conscious, conscious of it. So, hold on. So, not knowing him, what do you think of him? Um, Shush! I like his style. Yeah. I liked all of his rings on yeah. his hand. Mm. And... I didn't really like how he seemed to... I think this is a problem with anyone that's a returning player. Yeah. He kind of walked in like a bit of an attitude, like how yeah. great he was. Yeah. Um, he seems okay. I do like him, but mm. I think he's um, a bit too confident. And it's going yeah. to not work out because he's too confident. He was quite confident even in his own series. Everyone hated him in his own series for quite a long time. The housemates. Yeah. But he's apparently a fan favourite, so the public obviously liked him. They didn't at first, though. I liked him. I liked him from day one. I, he was always my favourite. I, I was there back in the day. And then he said, oh, he called someone a cunt. <laughs> and everyone turned against him because of that. Yeah. Even though the person he called a cunt was a cunt. Um and he should have won. Like he was properly like robbed by Maybe that Gary, Nicole no, fucking bitch. No, Gary's different. That's, no, that's, he that's was. It was a bit a jury, basically. Right. 
Um, and because they wanted to vote for a woman to win. That for no winner looked reason. insufferable. She, that woman that oh, came in later, that winner. Mate. <laughs> I was, I, I've actually noted down here when she appears, I'm yeah. glad I didn't watch that season. No, oh, mate, you don't know. But <laughs> the thing with Paul is, he, he it's, he's like Nicky Graham now. He knows all his own catchphrases. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's like, like about friendship, friendship isn't it? Bro, your, your bro or something yeah or your, your, ma- boy. your boy it's like all his catchphrases like which were kind of natural last year now it's like just his no- like because like, he was always like friendship and then it was like pissed <laughs> and then he's like your boy's gonna do this your boy's gonna do that and now he's just saying them and it's annoying when you, when you know your own catchphrases it's annoying when he was saying pissed about that tree did yeah. he mean like annoyed or pissed as annoyed. in drunk right annoyed. yeah because i was like i was laughing when he said pissed at first and i was like no it doesn't mean like uh, yeah. how pissed he means it's yeah, annoyed like, um, is he, is he gay? No. He looks like he could be. Yeah, no, he's not. And he said he's only 24. I'm like, God, he looks so much older than 24. He's actually a really, really nice guy. And he's actually really, really funny. But because on his series, he was like under the cosh the whole time. And he was always at risk of going out. Mm-hmm. It was kind of like, oh, do you know what I mean? Whereas now, it's although it actually could be at risk of going out now, to be honest. But now it's like... He's too knowing and it's too... And it, the fact he's the only vet in there and... Oh, I don't know. Why it's, have they put... Just I, one. I think they do this a lot, don't they? But mm. like, why are they obsessed with putting old people back into there? We wouldn't do that, would we? <sighs> we do do that. <laughs> no, but like on <laughs> night one, you wouldn't like have a surprise late entrant of a person that came second in the last series. That's never happened. I think they just do it to annoy the fans because p- all the <laughs> other fans hate returning players. I don't mind sometimes. But, I noticed that that the clips that I saw of him in the mm. last season, he was with that Asian guy who was also a returning player. Yeah, there was four returning players last year, but so, Paul was a newbie last year. Right. Uh, okay. Yeah, but Paul was one. But of he the got new in players. with the old players. Yeah, yeah. He they kind of took him under his wings, their wings sort of thing. Paul didn't know anything about the game, and he learnt the game really, really well. And he was really good. And I still, I still think he'll be good. But the thing I don't like about returning player being in there is. He'll be like, oh, this is how it works, and blah, 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 and all yeah. that. And I prefer them I just know better. to... Yeah, I prefer them just to find it out themselves. And also, it stops that people... The, like, if they're talking about something, he'll be like, oh, don't talk about that, because that'll be on the live feeds, and stops mm. interesting conversations happening. Do you know what I mean? Like, if they were being racist, for example, they would just hang themselves if it was just all newbies. But Paul, instead, would be like, oh, God, no, you can't do it. I know you shouldn't be doing that anyway, but if they're that stupid, do you, well, do yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. It just puts this extra element of, like, mm. So when is the last time that BB USA did a season without putting returning players in? Um, that's a very good question. I think it was the year before. I think it's it was just one the of their before. things, and you just yeah, have to deal with it. Yeah, they do it a lot. They do it a lot. But it, I, I felt like it was unnecessary. I, and I love Paul. I thought he was brilliant. But it, Sometimes you've had like, enough. Like You like him yeah. for that season, and that's their season, and yeah. now you want this group of people to have their experience. Yeah, exactly. It's a bit like Raph talking about old... Yeah, <laughs> big brother the I know. whole time. It, um, but, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Cody before. seems to have an issue with his Ooh, game, his Paul's game from the past. Like, I don't know why? Like Paul he was, was going good. around mixing or something. He wasn't though. Okay, he wasn't. Paul was actually really, really. Paul was friends with this guy Victor in there, and they were like they, that was what friendship was all about because they were like so tight. They had like a bromance, and they mm-hmm. were so sweet, and they were just their th- relationship was so sweet. And Victor got evicted three times. <laughs> he kept winning what? competitions to come back. <laughs> Well, actually, yeah, he got evicted three times because he came back twice. That's mad. I know. Victor's the only person to come back three times. And then Paul kept losing. He was like, oh, Victor's going again. And Victor would come back again. <laughs> that sounds it quite was, fun. It was. it was. Victor was really nice, but Paul was better. But now Paul's probably going to ruin it. But it is a bit hard for Paul being the one and only returnee in there. He has got a massive target on his back, hasn't he? Unless we give him that secret power. Yeah, which you probably will get. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah. Hundo. Hundo. <laughs> um. <laughs> so that, the next thing was they mm. realised that this Paul coming in meant that they had to lose one of the current housemates oh, to the new batch. Harsh. And it was the first ever Big Brother swap. Yeah, that's a bit much, isn't it? Did you have any, like, first, like, opinions of who you wanted to, to be swapped, him to be swapped with, who you wanted that person to be that would leave? Mm. Just one of the bros, really. Probably Cody or the really? cow or cowboy. I've got the cowboy. Yeah, I've, cowboy I've put, is I want annoying. to lose that cowboy. Or one of the weaker girls, like the weight loss surgery. Yeah. Or Alex, maybe. Because they're a bit interchangeable. It's nothingy, yeah. So far, they're nothingy. Um, but yeah, I thought that's a bit hard on Paul as well. And then the friendship bracelet thing. 
is another reason for people to hate Paul. It's like there's a lot of things stacked yeah, against him. Yeah, he did him. even say that, like what are you trying mm. to do to me kind of thing. Yeah. So he got these nine friendship bracelets, mm. one of 